I'm Natasha Stott Despoir, Australia's Ambassador for Women and Girls, and I'm delighted to welcome you to the second AMNEP Forum. This forum provides a valuable opportunity for regional civil society, governments, and the academic community to discuss two very important issues ASEAN integration and women's economic empowerment. I send strong support for this essential dialogue. Women's economic empowerment is a particular priority for the Australian Government. We know that women's full and equal economic participation has been a key driver of economic growth over recent decades. But we also know this potential has not yet been fully tapped to the detriment of all our countries. I'm a lifelong advocate of women's empowerment as a former senator in the Australian Parliament, in my not-for-profit work and now in my role as ambassador. Paid parental leave, uh, women's rights in the workplace, these were among my legislative priorities during my parliamentary career. These days, I've taken into the international arena my ambition to shape a world where women are equal members of our society. I was pleased to promote Australia's gender equality initiatives at meetings of the ASEAN Commission on the promotion and the protection of the rights of women and children in Jakarta in February. It is significant that AMNET takes place this year. 2014 is the 40th anniversary of Australia's relations with ASEAN. And in 2015, that will be a milestone in ASEAN's community building efforts. Importantly, at this meeting, you will be identifying the opportunities and challenges that might arise for women and girls from the ASEAN community building process. Investment and labour will be able to move more easily as a result of the integration process. Women can take advantage of this through new business opportunities, employment and exchange within ASEAN countries. But there are also potential risks. Women's voices need to be heard to ensure that opportunities and benefits are equitable. This is a rich topic and I expect your discussions during the forum will generate many new ideas, not to mention new connections and of course new networks. Australia hopes that this forum will be the beginning of a dialogue in the dynamic Mekong environment. We're focused firmly on using our aid and diplomatic efforts to help women to get the best out of development. I wish you a successful meeting and all the best for the AMNEP Forum. I will be following the results of your discussions with great interest.